everybody, welcome to the June 2020 edition of Smash the Crate, where me and my mom try everything in this month's Keto Crate. Starting off, we have a lot of time and temperature sensitive items in this exactly. month's Keto Crate, yes, so can. I can't really go in like the order that the I like to go in. Yeah, the sweet savor. Yeah, we got to get some stuff out of the way yes. because we either need to enjoy it hot or we need to enjoy it cold. Oh. So let's go ahead and just get started. The first thing I want to try is it sad that like I was gonna say get out of the way. The first thing I want to get out of the way. <laughs> I know. Wow. <laughs> is this Zone Perfect Keto? white chocolate coconut drink. Like, I don't have any beef necessarily with these, you know, products. It's just this is not how I like like to get my calories. So I don't see myself buying this. Therefore, I'm just like, let's drink it. Save some for your mama. I know, there's, it's, it comes out really weird even yeah, though, oh, I think I, I might have opened it wrong, but that's okay. Okay, let's talk about the thickness and viscosity. Looks like regular milk. Right. Looks like some or good old skim milk, basically. That's yeah, thinner. It is thinner. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's go. That's good. I mean, you guzzled that down. Look, look. I mean, she's like, and pouring more. She's like, it's good. It's good. it tastes like. I don't taste coconut. I'll tell you that. It's vanilla. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. But the t the flavor of yeah. this is white chocolate coconut. Okay. I don't taste white chocolate. I don't mm -hmm. taste coconut. I mean, it's a it's a nice cold milk like drink. Like if you just want to chug some true. milk, yeah. that's it, 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 it's delicious. delicious. I mean, that just tastes like vanilla milk. Like that's all I mean, that tastes like. She is uh, correct in that. It is delicious. But is it white chocolate? Whatever. Yeah. No. And that was two hundred calories. Like oh, we're oh, done. Oh. That was a that was a cumulative like eight sips, and that's two hundred calories. And I ain't buying it, both literally and figuratively. So, however, though taste was, we're going by taste. It was delicious. It was good. It was a like, one. and you yeah. can find these in like the store, like Meyer okay. and stuff like that. If you're into drinking your calories and you're into meal replacement protein drinks, this does not taste bad. I will leave it at that. So that's all I'm saying. So next, I'm gonna go get the milk. They're just sitting, sitting in the morning sun. I'll be sitting till the evening come. Okay, next we are trying the Simply Delicious uh, Vanilla Instant Pudding. Simply Delish. Oh, who says you shouldn't have instant pudding with Simply Delish? Boom. Karina! <laughs> Comment down below. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay guys, I whipped this up literally and figuratively. Uh, just like the package instruction said, I used one and a quarter cup of almond milk okay. and just a packet, a, a sachet or a sachet. Is it sachet or sachet? I'm saying sachet. I mean, it just sounds a lot more fun when you say sachet. And, and the, the little packet that was in here whipped it for two minutes uh, and then I let it stand in the refrigerator for five minutes. I didn't do anything else. I, once again, I feel like it's the same as Jello. I thought it was a lot more complicated than it actually turned out to be. So, let go. I mean, okay, we're doing this. Okay. The, the consistency. It kind of looks rice pudding. Exactly. I was like, it does look kind of lumpy, but like hey, baby food. Yeah, but hey, we'll do good. Mmm. Once you get that cold, woo. Yeah, this is this is very good. Okay. Yes. Do you have? Do you have? Smash the crate all by yourself. Whoa, woo! And then also, this isn't a everyday sort of treat for me. You know, it's oh, like maybe no. it's like a one meal prep a month sort yeah. of thing. So I'm not always spending four net carbs on a half cup of pudding. Right. But it is worth it, especially if you're missing pudding. That's a delicious. Half, half a cup. If yeah. I'm missing pudding, I want to miss a cup of. I want to. I want to miss two yeah. cups right. of pudding. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So right. that's I'm all you're not missing. That's a half all your. Yeah. That's all your net carbs right there. But those are really good. I definitely give it a tier two. I would be happy to receive that for free. Don't know if I'm going out of my way to look for it, but, but it is. It is, it is very delicious. Delish. It is simply delicious. Well, look at that. Yes. Okay. Next, we have these good D blueberry pancakes. So in making these pancakes, I used as much as they say would make eight pancakes, but it ended up making closer to six. Look at this. So this is what my pancakes look like. They look pretty good. I'm not a, I'm not a pancake connoisseur by any means. 
But I think I did my thug fizzle, you know, like these, I always have a problem cooking them evenly, you know, like one side is super yeah. dark, the other side is super light. Right, so when you serve them, you put them on the good side. You know, you flip the exact Cajun side down a little bit. Um, These look good. I just put a pat of butter on them and then now we're going to cover them in some syrup. Yeah. Comment down below, do you eat pancakes without syrup, number one. Number two, if you do use syrup, are you a you know, drown your pancakes in the syrup, or are you or just a little like dollop per, you know, bite sort of person. And I'm a dollop per bite person. Yeah, I'm, I'm a team drown, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. Your grandfather was a team drown. So this is just what it looks like, and this is dry. Yeah, but that's a that. Mm-hmm. You're bad. Now, now I will say that. These are made with coconut flour. Mm -hmm. They are made with coconut oil. She encourages you to put coconut milk in it. I used almond milk because we don't have coconut milk. Like, this is going to be a coconut blueberry pancake, you know? And if you don't mind the taste of coconut, that's not a bad thing. But if you're going for, like, pure pancake, it, this is going to have a coconut oil flavor to it. Okay, putting some sugar-free syrup on. Hopefully not too much for my mom. Okay, so we done put some... Uh, sugar-free. Yeah, some sugar-free syrup on here. Now, for me, the consistency is a little gritty, but, like, is that because of how I cooked it? I don't know. Like, these are good pancakes. Mmm. Definitely tier two. Mm -hmm. Definitely milk time. And the double hand Oh, that Woo! just makes everything better. Man. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Mm. Okay, on to the regular temperature things. Yeah. Now we're going to move into the things that I don't like. Number one being kazoots. Oh lord. Yeah, and these are peanuts, which I'm not hating on the fact that they're peanuts. I'm not hating on the fact that they're flavored peanuts. I'm hating on the fact that they're sea salt and vinegar flavored oh, peanuts. No. Oh, I just, no. I just don't think that they're going to be good, but we're going to try them anyway. Okay. okay. I'm going to go in with, you know, these are going to be good. We're going to love these. Exactly. Positive thoughts. Yes. Okay, and go. Nope. He was wrong. Ew. So nasty. Look, why do I want sour peanuts? Why do I want peanuts that taste like vinegar? Like, come on! That is just so nasty. I'm so, no. Cheer for I will. I would never request that. I would never want that. I mean, if they had like cinnamon sugar peanuts, oh, maybe we're we playing ball. Yes. But like yes. sea salt vinegar is just not our jam. Uh, look. If you like premium artisan peanuts and you like things that taste like sea salt and vinegar, maybe you will like these. But for our personal taste, no, no, absolutely not. Mm -mm. Okay, you ready? I don't need to wipe my tips. Ew! They're called your tips. what? Your tips? No. <laughs> the, the corners of your mouth and not your tips. tips. <laughs> no. No, that's not oh, it. What do you call the corners of your mouth? <laughs> the corners <laughs> of your mouth. Absolutely not. Okay, guys, the next one we are not trying is yeah. this Rome Sticks Pork for the Planet. I don't care what planet the pork is for. <laughs> like, I don't want it. It is a meat stick going in the great meat stick away, you know, part two. Just not going to try it. Don't want to waste it. But what we are going to try yeah. is this keto carne. This is just beef jerky. This is different than a meat stick, yes. okay? It is good jerky. Hmm. Look at this. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Let's give yeah. it a give it a chew. Mm. Chew it on. Wait a minute. On the side of my mouth with my good teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I made the mistake of trying to bite with my front teeth. I was like, no. <laughs> it's good chewy meat, and you like good chewy meat. I am still chewing the first bite. I mean, don't take big bites of this stuff. In my opinion, this is good. It's regular tasting. If this was spicy, if this lit my mouth on fire, <clears throat> it would be completely worth it. But this is just, I mean, it tastes like meat. This is not bad at all. Definitely tier two. Mm -hmm. It's good. There's no way you can eat this whole thing because your like, jaws would fall <laughs> off. Like, you definitely got to separate this into different servings. You're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, next we have these Gorilla Goods Hillside Pumpkin Seed and Kale. 
I don't know why sure. someone would feel the need to dry out kale and put it in a pouch oh, with like pumpkin gracious. seeds. No, but they're not flavored like anything, so I don't think that's going to be the problem. I, I just think the problem is that it's like kale. They look like little green things. Yeah, to be honest, the kale is like stuck to the pumpkin mm -hmm. seeds. I thought there was going to be separate little pieces kale of kale. Pieces. But it looks like it's kind of just stuck to the pumpkin seeds. Yeah. So let's give it a try. Let's do it. No, I don't. I thought it was gonna taste more like just regular pumpkin seeds, but whatever seasoning they put on there and the kale mixed in there, no, I don't like that. Yeah. That's not to say that I wouldn't like another flavor. Maybe if it was like cheese or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but uh -uh. that pumpkin seed and kale, that's a tier four. Like. Okay, now the only savory thing in here that I'm excited about are the Shrewd Food Protein Puffs. Hmm. Okay, these are brick oven pizza flavored protein puffs. That's okay. Great, I'm sorry. I mean, I only have a little slit. They smell it. Tear, tear here. here. No, I looked. They didn't have it. These they actually, good. yeah, they smell they good. Wonderful. They look like, you know, like they have a nice coating on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lego. Hmm. I like them. Oh, that's a crunch, like a mocha. Brick oven pizza. Mm. This is a nice, crunchy, flavored snack. Like, I kind of liken this to a combo. You know, like, if you want something that's like flavored, like pizza and crunchy, like, this will do it. Yeah, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's tier two, tier one, like. Okay, second to last. Moving on to our shelf-stable sweets here. What is this? We have the heck of good bar. Heck this good bar. is white chocolate raspberry. I honestly feel like white chocolate is a cop out. Like every time you put white chocolate, it's just it's basically vanilla. You know, right. like oh god, oh, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I need a napkin. It jumped out of the packaging. <laughs> And like most heck of good bars, it's just oily. They are just so melty and oily. And like, you can see, is that oil or is that white chocolate melted? I don't know, but it's just sticky looking. And it might have come delivered hot, but this has been inside for days. So I would have expected it to like recongeal at this point, you know? I don't know what this is, but like, I don't have high hopes. Like, I feel like every time I've gotten a heck of a good bar, I've kind of treated it like with my fingertips, you know? And I'm just like, ugh, no, here, like that, yeah, like here, have some of that. And then the taste never, never pays off. Mm. I see huge chunks of almonds I in here. I sure do. Okay, all right, let's give it a try. Go for it. What flavor was supposed to be? White chocolate raspberry. Taste the raspberry. Mm-hmm. I'm just too eked out. By the time I even get to it, I'm just like, ugh, I've had to like handle it all weird and it's all yeah. slippery and I... Yeah. Well, thank you. This is a tier three. All right. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Saving Mr. it to the end, but you know, it's not throwawayable. I wouldn't throw it away, but it's not one of the first things I would reach for. $3.25. Mm. No, and I also wouldn't pay $3.25. Mm. Wiping my tips. See, Wiping no, that First of all, I thought you said something else. Second of all, that will never be okay. <laughs> that will never be what, what it's called, okay? <laughs> Woo! Okay, guys, and lastly, the PS de Resistance, the thing that I've secretly been wanting, and I really hope it doesn't disappoint. This is the cookie department keto uh, cookie. It's cakewalk, birthday cake, plus sprinkles. Oh, all of everything you love. Everything that I love, and I just don't want it to be disappointing. That's just all I want. Don't be disappointed. Don't be disappointed. Okay, the consistency is good. It, it feels like soft, where like, it would break apart, like gravity's going to do its thing, but like I don't mind that at all. Um, the sprinkles leave something to be desired. They're mostly just like sprinkles. Blue, yeah. <laughs> just like blue <laughs> dots. I, I don't know, but um, maybe it'll be better. Uh, it is a very soft cookie. Maybe it'll be better once we take a bite. Here, you can have a big one. Okay. I mean, it's just really regular yeah. looking, to be honest. Okay, let go. Disappointing. No, it tastes like almond flour. The very first, yeah. the very first yeah, ingredient. There it was, right there. Almond flour and monk fruit. Yeah. Like it tastes just like the a greens. sweetened cookie. Yeah, like it tastes like 
vanilla extract, you know, like lots and lots of vanilla extract, because I feel like that's where the birthday cake flavor is supposed to come from. Mm -hmm. There is no crunch of a sprinkle. Like there is no texture. This is, this kind of just melts and falls apart in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Just a point in tier, tier two mm -hmm. minus three. Yeah, yeah. two minus no. a three. Mmm, that hurts. So overall, once again, sad that the one item that I was really looking forward to trying in the keto crate just turned out to be a little disappointing. Similar to the high key cookie, you know, brownies, don't get me started on Brownie Gate 2020, you know. Um, not bad, but not great. Not anything that you haven't tasted before if you've had your share of any keto cookie, you know. Didn't really get birthday cake, definitely didn't get sprinkles. And then just looking at everything in this crate, it was good. It was just, I definitely am more of a bar sort of person. Like I like bars and pouches of things. Okay. So, you know, I appreciate the goodies mix. I appreciate the pudding. I appreciate the drink, but it's just like, give me something in a pouch, you know, that I can eat, you know, more, more of the shrewd food. Okay. Let's do that. But overall, I'm glad that I was able to try this stuff. The beef jerky was The beef good. jerky was good, you know, definitely not bad. It's some vinegar, no. Gosh, those know. pizzoots just horrible every time. I feel like pizzoots goes out of their way to make disgustingly flavored foods. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm They're sorry. Right. They do. What nasty sour seasonings yeah, right. can we put on peanuts? So, yeah, sugar cinnamon, that, that's sounds wonderful. Exactly. Okay, well overall, I mean, I'll give this crate like a B minus, mm -hmm. you know, definitely some new things that I was glad to get introduced right. to, but overall just not my like preference and jam and the types of things I like to receive. But once again, that is the joy of the keto crate, not having that control. Why would I want to go pick out everything that I would already want? Cause I already know I like it. Exactly. Like I need the exposure of right. things that I would not yes. actually buy myself. So and in actuality, thank you, Keto yes, Crate, thank for you, keto not crate. giving me what I would have picked out for myself because then you don't experience anything new. But do you know who is about to experience something new? The person that is going to win their very own Keto Crate because they have commented on my unboxing video, and that person is. Congratulations! Yes. Get you some true Thanks. foods and all sorts of stuff. Let me know how you like this stuff. Lucky this dog. Crate. We already had it. We're lucky too. Oh. We're lucky dogs together. <laughs> Send me an email to watchautumnketo at gmail.com and I will get this crate in the mail to you. <sighs> okay, comment down below. Have you tried any and all of this stuff? Let me know your thoughts. I'm just looking forward to the next month's crate. That's yeah, all I got to say. You know, this was, I kind of feel like this was a supply chain shortened crate. Because, you know, you know last month's crate was like, wow, yeah. wowzers. Yeah, so, so you know, this, you got to have a low, you know, if there are no valleys, there could be no exactly. peaks. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Keto. But overall, this, this was good. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, What I Eat Wednesdays, and Freestyle Friday videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and we'll see you next month. Bye. Bye.